This video covers some of the basic steps for installing the Graco Size for Me 70 convertible car seat. We'll go over how to install the seat both rear and forward facing, with latch and with your vehicle's seat belt. Before installing your car seat, please always refer to your car seat manual and your vehicle manual for complete instructions and information. To install the Size for Me 70 rear facing using latch or lower anchors and tether for children, please ensure your vehicle is equipped with latch lower anchor points, which may be visible at the vehicle seat crease. If they're not visible, they may be marked with a car seat symbol or a red dot. Consult your vehicle manufacturer's manual for latch usage and weight guidelines. Make sure your vehicle is on level ground. Pull out on the handle on the front of the car seat and adjust to rear facing position marked with a one. Make sure the forward facing latch belt is stored and place the car seat in the back seat of the car so it is facing the rear of the vehicle. The car seat should sit firmly on your vehicle's back seat. Extend the latch belt to its maximum length. Attach the rear facing latch connectors to the vehicle's lower anchors, making sure the belt is flat and not twisted. You'll hear an audible click. Pull the connectors to be sure they are securely attached. Press down firmly in the center of the seat while pulling the latch adjustment belt through the slot in the seat pad. To check the seat for secure installation, hold the seat and pull front to back and left to right at the belt path. The car seat should not move more than one inch side to side or forward. If it does, continue to tighten and retest until the movement is less than one inch. Make sure the free end of the belt is outside the seat area. Check the level indicator on the side of the seat. The ball must be entirely in the green area. If necessary, place rolled towels under the child restraint at the vehicle seat crease until the entire ball is in the green zone. Now when you place your child in the car seat, position the harness straps over your child's shoulders. Squeeze and pull up on the red head support adjustment handle to adjust the harness height so that the shoulder straps are at or just below the child's shoulders. Connect the buckle and then the chest clip. Tighten the harness so that it's snug. You should not be able to pinch the harness if it's snug. Then adjust the chest clip so that it is at your child's armpit level. If you've already reviewed your owner's manual, then you're ready to go. To install the Size for Me 70 rear facing using your vehicle's seat belt, pull out on the handle on the front of the car seat and adjust to rear facing position marked with a 1. Make sure both the rear facing and forward facing latch belts are stored and place the car seat in the back seat of the car so that it is facing the rear of the vehicle. The car seat should sit firmly on your vehicle's back seat. Be sure to check your vehicle owner's manual to make sure you install the car seat correctly for the type of seat belt in your car. Thread the vehicle seat belt through the rear facing openings under the seat pad and buckle the belt. When threading the vehicle belt, Make sure to move the latch belt out of the way and align the vehicle seat belt between the two molded lines visible on the seat shell. Press down firmly in the center of the car seat to compress the vehicle seat cushion while tightening the seat belt. To test the seat to make sure it's secure, hold the seat and pull front to back and left to right at the belt path to check for secure installation. The car seat should not move side to side or forward more than one inch. If it does move more than one inch, continue to tighten and retest until the movement is less than one inch. Make sure your car is on level ground and check the level indicator on the side of the seat. The ball must be entirely in the green area. If necessary, place rolled towels under the child restraint at the vehicle seat crease until the entire ball is in the green zone. Now when you place your child in the car seat, position the harness straps over your child's shoulders. Squeeze and pull up on the red head support adjustment handle to adjust the harness height so that the shoulder straps are at or just below the child's shoulders. Connect the buckle and then the chest clip. Tighten the harness so that it's snug. You should not be able to pinch the harness if it's snug. Then adjust the chest clip so that it is at your child's armpit level. 
If you've already reviewed your owner's manual, then you're ready to go. Now we'll go over how to install the Size For Me 70 in forward facing mode using latch or lower anchors and tether for children. Please ensure your vehicle is equipped with latch lower anchor points, which may be visible at the vehicle seat crease. If they're not visible, they may be marked with a car seat symbol or a red dot. Consult your vehicle manufacturer's manual for latch usage and weight guidelines. Make sure your vehicle is on level ground. Pull out on the red recline handle on the front of the car seat and adjust to the forward facing position, either position two or three. Make sure the rear facing latch belt is soared. Place the car seat in the back seat of your car facing the front seat of the vehicle. The car seat should sit firmly on your vehicle's back seat. Extend the latch belt to its maximum length. Attach the forward facing connectors to the vehicle's lower anchors so that the belt is flat and not twisted. You'll hear an audible click, which lets you know they're connected. Pull the connectors to be sure they're securely attached and slide the car seat back until it's in contact with the vehicle's seat back. Press down firmly in the center of the car seat to compress the vehicle's seat cushion while tightening the latch belt by pulling the adjustment belt. To test the seat to make sure it's secure, hold the seat and pull front to back and left to right at the belt path to check for secure installation. The car seat should not move side to side or forward more than one inch. If it does move more than one inch, continue to tighten and retest until the movement is less than one inch. Attach the tether hook located at the top of the car seat onto your vehicle's anchor point and tighten the tether belt to remove any slack. Now when you place your child in the car seat, adjust the harness height by squeezing and pulling up on the red head support adjustment handle so that the shoulder straps are at or just above the child's shoulders. Connect the buckle and the chest clip. Tighten the harness so that it's snug enough so that you cannot pinch the harness straps. Then adjust the chest clip so that it's at your child's armpit level. If you've already reviewed your owner's manual, then you're ready to go. To install the Size For Me 70 forward facing using your vehicle's seat belt, pull on the red recline handle on the front of the car seat and adjust to the forward facing position either position two or three. Make sure the rear facing and forward facing latch belts are stored. Make sure your vehicle is on level ground and place the car seat in the back seat of your car facing the front of the vehicle so that the back of the car seat touches the back of the vehicle seat. The car seat should fit firmly on your vehicle's back seat. Be sure to check your vehicle owner's manual to make sure you install the car seat correctly for the type of seat belts in your car. Thread the seat belt through the forward facing belt path openings on the car seat. Then buckle the seat belt. Press down firmly in the center of the car seat to compress the vehicle seat cushion while tightening the vehicle seat belt. To test the seat to make sure it's secure, hold the seat and pull front to back and left to right at the belt path to check for secure installation. The car seat should not move side to side or forward more than one inch. If it does move more than one inch, continue to tighten and retest until the movement is less than one inch. Attach the tether hook located at the top of the car seat onto your vehicle's anchor point and tighten the tether belt to remove any slack. If your vehicle does not have the top tether anchor, the car seat's top tether hook should be stored. When you place your child in the car seat, adjust the harness height by squeezing and pulling up on the red head support adjustment handle so that the shoulder straps are at or just above the child's shoulders. Connect the buckle and the chest clip. Tighten the harness so that it's snug enough so that you cannot pinch the harness straps. Then adjust the chest clip so that it's at your child's armpit level. If you've already reviewed your owner's manual, then you're ready to go.